Kevin. All right, look up if you're changing all of your passwords now after Dan's uh, story. Tonight, we have some more rain here moving into southern Arizona, also more mountain snow. So the chance of rain sticks with us overnight. It's just now starting to fill in more and more. So uh, more and more neighborhoods, more and more areas getting rain. And overall, it hasn't been very heavy, but still off and on showers will continue the rest of the overnight. Now, this is from Summerhaven. This is actually from uh, the community center. And uh, right as you, you drive into Summerhaven near Mount Lemon. So there's the sidewalk. This is a time lapse over the last hour. Keep your eye on the sidewalk sidewalk here. Snow beginning to fall now over the mountains and so there you go. Some uh, at least a dusting and maybe up to an inch or so so far but uh, several more inches of snow still likely throughout the overnight hours up in the mountains. So here's a picture of first of the top of the radar right now. Mountain snow and uh, rain at the lower elevations for now. And for the most part, it's been fairly light, but again, it's starting to fill in now all over the metro area. And at times you could occasionally get the, uh, the rain picking up in intensity a little bit here overnight. So you may hear the rain kind of pick up a bit, if not hear the winds gusting around 20 or 30 miles per hour. But around Sal Rita and especially over uh, Sal Rita Road extending to the east to Corona Day Tucson, on, and then areas to the north uh, moving closer to the airport and I-10 and Rita Ranch, Little Town area. Uh, rain may be picking up light to moderate rain, but it's pretty widespread for the rest of tonight. And again, the rain chance will continue well beyond midnight into the very early morning hours tomorrow. And then meanwhile, it's also the winds we're talking about. Gusts have been 20 to 30 miles per hour around Tucson, even stronger closer to Sierra Vista and across southwestern Cochise County. So lighter wind overnight as the rain moves out very early in the morning. In fact, most of this rain I think will be gone even by the time the sun comes up. So this is mainly an overnight rain event. Temperatures about 40 degrees to start tomorrow. And so if you have a tea time early on, maybe a lingering shower or two. It's definitely going to be chilly with temperatures near 40 degrees in Tucson. But the real cold air doesn't even arrive till tomorrow night. So here's the hour by hour forecast tonight. This is at midnight and again, we will go beyond midnight here. You'll see how quickly the rain and the mountain snow breaks up. This is at three o'clock in the morning, colder air moving in. And so you see a lot of the green colors change over to pink than the, the blue or the white. And that's uh, the rain changing to snow and the, the snow elevations lowering and lowering. But I, I don't think you're going to get anything accumulating really below 4,500 feet or so. And so tomorrow morning, the snow accumulations are up over the mountains and it's just going to be off and on rain showers for uh, the valleys and lower elevations here overnight. But even by the time the sun comes up, most of it's out of here and tomorrow a mainly sunny afternoon, even though uh, yeah, we'll be chilly in the morning and it's going to be chilly in the afternoon, but the sun will be out at least 52 degrees. The high temperature in Tucson, 48 in Sierra Vista. Now, once we get to tomorrow night, that's where the real cold air arrives. These are the potential morning low temperatures Wednesday, even in Tucson, 31 degrees and we're near 20 degrees in Douglas, 21 for Bisbee and Sierra Vista in the 20s, Tubac, Green Valley and Sarita Rita in the upper 20s. And so for, with potential freeze tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, the afternoons, I mean, it's nothing warm, but at least the sun's out and we'll be in the 50s and uh, finally back to the 60s. It looks like by the end of the week, but it's going to be cold the rest of this week. Mm -hmm. Even though the rain and the snow at least is out of here, but uh, cold and cold mornings too. So protect the plants and I'll have to check what my thermostat said too, because we'll see how that does. Whenever <laughs> right. it's, it, it's been a while since it's been below freezing mm -hmm. in Tucson. It has so been. We'll, we'll have to get used to that. It's going to be difficult getting out of bed, I think, probably Wednesday morning. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <All> right, thanks, <laughs> Kevin. Thanks, Kevin.